I'm heeding the call with my spirit to do my best to contribute to make this world the best possible place that it can be. If there's anything that I can do to be of supportive, to be supportive to folks that have gone through similar, that are going through similar things that I've gone through or different things or are suffering or are in pain, especially at this time, we're in the midst of a global pandemic. People are going through so much and don't necessarily have space or time to heal, to think, to feel, to process what they're going through. Like it's wild. Like, everything is happening so fast and like our emotional selves our spiritual selves like our minds like we have to protect our fucking mental like we have to like take care of ourselves spiritually and um i think that wherever you are whatever gift or gifts you have like share them and this is me doing that this is me saying there's a call inside of me and i'm gonna answer it um i want to do there's a call inside of me and i want to answer it there's a call inside of me and i want to answer it um I say that I'm private, you know, to say that, you know, if I felt there was another way for me to answer the call that I'm feeling inside to share of myself, to share a, around my own healing journey and my own spiritual journey, if I felt like I could do it without sharing about myself, I would. <laughs> You know, if I felt like, oh, okay, I could answer this call without really talking about my own personal shit, <laughs> I would. But that's not the messages that I've been receiving. The messages that I've been receiving, like, and by messages, I mean feelings that I have. Like, I know this is what the Most High wants for me to do. Like, I, I just know. I've gotten so many signs, and I just feel it inside of me so strongly. My intuition is like shouting like girl you need to do this and i think often about you know there are so many moments of just utter fucking pain where i was just like on the ground crying like grieving my parents and there would be something some song that i would listen to or some movie that i would watch or some quote that i would find or some post on instagram that inspired me or some recipe that i don't know there's so many things that i've watched or seen or experienced or maybe a conversation i have with a stranger at the store that inspired me that made me feel loved or seen or understood or that that i knew okay my angel sent this person to me to cheer me up or i knew like this song was just sent to me to give me some kind of solace right now i knew that okay this recipe this cooking tutorial that i just watched like this woman is and this woman's energy was so sweet and then i ended up cooking this thing and now i feel amazing and i'm thankful to her and you know and i think about all of those people all of those people behind that content, behind those works of art, behind those expressions of spirit of, of themselves, like if they sat down and and thought, I can't record this video because like I have acne right now, or I can't like post this because no one cares, or like what I have to say doesn't matter because somebody else is already doing it. What if those people who held me and helped me, whether I ever meet them in my life, what if those people like, didn't do it what if they said i can't i shouldn't i what if they let their insecurities get the better of them what if they stopped themselves what if they got messages from god from angels from their ancestors telling them you must do this you must make this impact you must share of yourself in this way you must you know what i mean and they they, they just allowed their fears to run them and just chose not to heed that call what if their impact on me, they may never know, but they had an impact on me because they chose to share something with the world that they did not fucking have to. I think about that. And every single time when I'm, I'm about to record this or I, I'm scared or I don't know what to say or I feel like, is anyone gonna fucking understand me? Like, does it even, you know what I mean? Like, there's so many insecurities when you're putting out anything in the world, let alone something that matters to you so much. And I get so scared, like it's taking me a very long time to just like sit down and like record this. And I'm doing it because if somebody else who's going through something similar to me or maybe it's completely different than what I've been going through, like if they find this video or anything that I've produced and it does something positive for them, it helps them, makes them feel inspired, makes them feel seen, makes them feel beautiful, makes them feel, feel, makes them feel, feel, makes them feel like they can get through the next moment, the next five moments, the next 
day, the next five days, the next, like if I do something, create something, share something with the world that can provide solace for another human being who is suffering or stressed or heartbroken, how can I deprive you of that? How can I keep that from you? How? How? You have to get out of your way. That's what I'm saying to myself and to all of us. Like you cannot, like you, every single one of us has a gift, something that we're meant to give, to do, to share with this world. That's why you're here. That is the reason. Those are the reasons why you're here. To be able to share something positive with this planet. I think about, I think about, you know, death. <laughs> not in like a morbid way I mean I think about I think about a lot of things but because I've two people who I love so much died at a young age like um I've definitely had to think a lot about death and I've thought about myself and my life and my contribution to the planet and I imagine that after we die after you know we are spirits who are experiencing earth for this time um, and then at some point our time here will end and we will either, you know, come back into this earth as another person or not. Um, that's what I believe. And I think that after any lifetime that you live, whether it's one or five million, after every single lifetime that you live, you need to talk to God. You go to God. <laughs> you, you die and you meet God and God is right there like, hey boo, <laughs> okay. And you're like, hey God. And I feel like the first the first thing that God's going to say after, you know, the cute little pleasantries and you look in sexy boo. <laughs> I feel like God would be like, you look sexy. You're looking really cute. <laughs> after the pleasantries, I feel like God's going to be like, so what did you do? And I'll be like, what? Like, what did you do? God will ask. And if I begin to say, well, you know. I went to university, I got this degree, I published this, I performed here, I, oh, okay. This is God. <laughs> That's great. So I asked you, what did you do? Meaning the gifts that you were blessed with, how did you use them in service of something greater than you? That's what I mean by what did you do? Not your accomplishments. I mean, how, how did you, what did you, what impact did you have? Did you attempt to do anything better than what you see or you, you saw around you? Did you attempt to elevate the conversation? Did you attempt to help? Did you help another person? The call inside of you, the call, the call, that, that, that thing in your mind that tells you that you should do this, you should go for that, or you're scared. Did you answer that call? Did you make the earth a better place? Did you improve upon anything? Seriously, did you try to make anything better? Did you give to another person? Did you listen to another person? Did you put yourself aside and put somebody else first? Were you humble? Were you giving? Were you generous? The gifts that God, let me tell you something. I mean, you know, that's, that's, that's the end of my impression on God. <laughs> it's not even an impression, it's like a half skit. Um, yeah, I feel, I feel, I, you know, I feel like, If you don't use the gifts that you were given, and we all have gifts, if you do not use the gifts that you were given, it's a waste. If you do not use them, if you do not heed the call inside of you, if you do not work to try to make this world as beautiful as possible, as just as possible, as kind, as loving as possible, if you don't put any energy towards that, what was the point of your life? What was the point of your life? Anybody, if you want to make money, go make money. You want to get a house, go get a house. There's nothing wrong with those types of goals. But there also needs to be something in your... For me, this is what I realized. And I'm a performer. I'm an artist. For me, I feel like in addition to the work that I've been doing as an artist, that there is something in terms of just something spiritual that I want to contribute to the world and I, I, it's a call. It's like I'm being called to do it. It's like, and I'm heeding this call, even though it's scary to me. And so what that looks like for me, I mean, I actually don't know what that looks like for me. I'm just gonna take one step and then we'll see what the next step is after that because you can't plan everything in advance and that's very hard for someone like me to fucking realize at this point in my life because I am super uber planner. I love to plan things out, but not everything can be planned. Sometimes you just have to go for it. 
You just have to fucking go for it. Like, that's it. You cannot predict the future. You just have to try. So I'm going to be posting videos, different videos on spiritual things. So I'll be sharing about my spiritual journey. I'll be sharing about different spiritual concepts that I find interesting or fascinating um, just to just to share you share with you my thoughts my perspectives my um experiences or just feelings around those concepts um i'm also just interested kind of similar to how like i have a podcast nigerian dyke realness completely selfless humble as fuck plug um <laughs> so my podcast nigerian dyke realness which you can stream like on spotify apple podcasts on stitcher and all these other amazing platforms for podcasts i talk about political issues i talk about mental health um issues i talk about all kinds of things art tattoos da -da -da -da. um and so this is kind of continuing in that in that line like i've always like for years and years i've talked about political issues i've talked about different things and so now for me it's like talking about spirituality and also i guess like i would say like expanding what i talk about what i share what i create content around that's the easiest way that i can i i've, I've been able to like articulate it to myself so this is kind of like my hi i'm gonna be creating this content now type of video <laughs> i just wanted to give you a bit of background about myself um so you can understand where i'm coming from i really hope you come back and check out my content and also please feel free to check out the content that's already up you know i have um food like cooking tutorials well i have one cooking tutorial but there will be more it's an amazing one coconut cake with a choke with a choke with a choke <laughs> coconut cake with a chocolate frosting it's so good go go over the to kitchen poem section uh, uh playlist and go and like um actually i need to make that playlist so that you can find it um i have um vlogs where i talk about everything from love to hair <laughs> black kids hair and how we need to make sure that their hair is done properly even when if they're in anyway just go and find it okay go and find it i have a lot of content up um i have vlogs i have a political commentary i talk about mental health I I and i will be talking about spiritual matters spiritual issues spiritual teens i don't know exactly what yet because it's one step at a time over here and we don't need to plan everything so please do come back please do feel free to check out the description box i'll post links to my podcast my website and my ig you know there'll be fun stuff in there um anything else the main thing i want to say is like i'm heeding the call with my spirit to do my best to contribute to make this world the best possible place that it can be if there's anything that i can do to be of supportive to be supportive to folks that have gone through similar that are going through similar things that i've gone through or different things or are suffering or are in pain especially at this time we're in the midst of a global pandemic people are going through so much and don't necessarily have space or time to heal to think to feel to process what they're going through like it's wild like everything is happening so fast and like our emotional selves our spiritual selves like our minds like we have to protect our fucking mental like we have to like take care of ourselves spiritually and um i think that wherever you are whatever gift or gifts you have like share them and this is me doing that this is me saying there's a call inside of me and i'm gonna answer it um i want to do there's a call inside of me and i want to answer it there's a call inside of me and i want to answer it um I have, a, I have a lot of compassion for people that are dealing with depression, anxiety, grief, and mourning because of my life <laughs> and because I have a very, very like tender heart. Um, and for me, like I, when, I've, when I've gone through like really fucking hard shit, you know, the first bit of it is like really hard, a lot of anger, a lot of what the fuck, a lot of why, <laughs> you know, those types of things and questions. And at some point within my healing process i think how could i help somebody else like who I, like i always it, how can i say this going through massive pain grows compassion in my heart that's how i feel because at at some point i'm like damn i know i can't be the only one that's been hurt this bad 
you know? And then I begin to think of other people who have gone through this kind of pain and they didn't have anyone to talk to. And I think, is there something that I could share that could be helpful? That's where a lot of this is coming from because pain to me after the, the first bit of intensity and after some healing, it makes me compassionate. It makes me think of the next person who's been through some shit. It makes me think of other people, maybe in my past, like some things that have happened in my life. I, I think back on maybe my mother or something that she said or experienced. And I'm like, I have a new understanding because of what I've experienced now. And so it makes me compassionate, not only to people, you know, not only in reflection, but um, in terms of people in my life. <clears throat> but it also makes me think of people that I maybe have never met. And, um, and that this is my offering and this is this is me saying like if there's any way that I can be of service yep mm -hmm. I'm about to get into it <laughs> about to get into it <laughs> you know what else are we here for but to love each other honestly truly seriously honestly like if there's if 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 going through a global pandemic has not made it clear how important it is for us to love and care for each other, I don't know what the fuck it would take or what the fuck it's going to take. So this is me saying reporting for duty, baby. <laughs> um let's see. Thank you for listening. Thank you for stopping by to my digital paradise. It's so nice to like see your beautiful face. Um, <laughs> whether spiritually or literally, it really is spiritually because I literally can't see your face right now. But I feel as if I do. I do. I feel as if I do. So I want you to stop by. This is new for me and that this expansion is like super new for me. Um, and it's exciting and it's like terrifying and it's like exciting and it's like terrifying and it's exciting so thank you for taking the time to listen i always am so appreciative of people's listening like it's one of the most sweetest kindest things you can do is just to listen you know it's it's such a it's so respectful and i just i always am so thankful that people take the time to listen so thank you for your listening please come on back um feel free to go and look at all kinds of videos and get familiar okay subscribe like all that good stuff if you feel so called and moved to and please remember to always 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 heed the call of your beautiful soul au revoir bisous 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 bye until the next time